How about we do a quick tip video today? Okay, looking at an engine on an 8th generation Honda Accord, that would be 2008 to 2012. And a common issue that happens to these engines, and there's a few others that it happens to also, but very prevalent with this one, is on a cold startup, so basically the engine's been off overnight, or been off for quite a few hours, you go to start it, and you hear a distinct rattle coming from the engine area. Usually it's only going to last for a couple seconds, and then the rattle um, and the noise goes away. Um, and typically, not all the time, but typically what's happened is the variable valve timing control solenoid that lives under there, VTC for short as Honda calls it, has gone bad and it's making the engine very unhappy. And how about a quick overview of the components? So we have our cylinder head cover right here and inside there we have an intake um, camshaft and we have an exhaust camshaft. Attached to the ends of those are two sprockets, exhaust cam sprocket and an intake cam sprocket and attached to that is a timing chain and it goes down to our crankshaft sprocket and so engine rotates like this the timing chain rotates keeps the exhaust intake and crank all together in time that's what our timing belt or chain in this case there's a chain on here that's what it's doing and so what manufacturers have discovered is that hey if we can change the timing on our intake valves especially we can improve performance and so how this concerns our VTC solenoid is because it is part of the intake sprocket and so it has the ability to move just a little bit either retard or advance and it's doing that through an oil control solenoid which you can just barely see the connector down there so the oil is controlled by the computer into the solenoid and it's able to either just move it back and forth just a little bit and that changes the timing on our intake camshaft. Now that's different than our VTEC solenoid which basically changes how long our intake um, valves are opening and closing because there's different profiles on that cam. And so they're two different systems but they do a similar or they have a similar effect in that they're changing the how long and when our intake valves are opening and closing. All right, now that I showed you on the vehicle, here's a detailed drawing. You can see there's our cylinder head cover right there. There's our timing chain. And then there's our two sprockets I was talking about, the exhaust and then the intake, which is the VTC actuator. And if we scroll down, well, there's our VTC oil control valve solenoid that would just plug in right down here. And if we scroll down, you can see there's our two camshafts right there with uh, a look at the two sprockets. So that's going to be our exhaust um, sprocket right there. And then this will be our VTC actuator. As you can see, that's what they're calling it. Even though really it's a sprocket because it has the actuator portion of it, that is, um, that's what they call it. And that's the piece that goes bad. And typically... The fix for this issue is to replace the VTC actuator, which involves pulling the intake cam out of there. So it's a decent amount of labor. Um, and like I mentioned, you know, these solenoids, both the VTC and the VTEC are controlled by oil pressure. And so we want to make sure that we're changing our oil often. Otherwise, that can cause issues and expensive repairs. And while on the subject of oil, that timing chain runs around and picks up oil from the bottom of the um, oil pan down at the bottom. And so if we let our engine oil drop too low, we can starve that chain of oil, which can also cause issues, and it can cause a check engine light. And so just checking your oil and changing it often can definitely prevent a lot of expensive repairs on this engine. Well, hopefully you know a little bit more about VTC actuators now that you watched this little quick tip video. And as always, if it helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.